Where do you stand in the debate about the health benefits, scotch bonnet peppers versus the risks? Apart from the intense, eye-watering, tongue-burning effect on people that are not used to pepper, could they do any harm? I'll bet you already know some of the health benefits of using scotch bonnet peppers. But well, make sure you watch this video till the end where we'll be talking about some of the little known ones and possibly some risks they might pose. If you love the aroma and the spices that using scotch bonnet peppers brings to your meal, then welcome to the club. Please make sure you like the video and subscribe to my channel for more health information videos like this that we publish once every week. With that said, let's find out more about the health benefits scotch bonnet peppers versus the risk. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Dr. Sylvia, a general practitioner and health educator with Askaway Health. Today we're looking at hot spices and what benefits or risks they might have for our health. Scotch bonnet peppers are vegetables used the world over for the flavour they bring to our food. They're pretty spicy peppers used in a variety of dishes, sauces, stews, curries and the active component that gives them their heat is known as capsaicin. Peppers are measured for their spiciness using the Scoville scale which indicates the amount of capsaicin in a particular type of pepper. For the scotch bonnet peppers, they fall sort of midway along the Scoville scale with 250,000 Scoville units. And just to give you an idea for the sake of comparison, sweet bell peppers which have hardly any peppery taste to them score zero while pepper spray is about 5 million Scoville units. You can find scotch bonnet peppers in your local market and they range from various colours from green to orange, yellow and red and in eastern Nigeria where I come from they are known as Ose Nsuka or Ose Oyibo while in the western part of the country they are referred to as Atarodo. The yellow variety is also known as Cameroon pepper. If you don't refer to them as scotch bonnet peppers, let me know in the comments section down below what you call them in your local dialect. So, the key benefits responsible for the spiciness of the peppers is also responsible for the health benefits or the risks they could pose. So let's look at six benefits that capsaicin can have in our body. Number one, it is useful in treating painful joints or inflammation from some types of arthritis. So for treating common muscle sprains or injuries, you can find some heat gels or creams contain capsaicin. Number two, it increases blood flow around the body. And some researchers believe that this helps in the flow of feel-good endorphins and can increase our desire to make love or increase our libido. Number three, it is thought that it may contribute to a reduced desire for food and therefore might support people who are trying to lose weight. Scotch bonnet peppers are a great source of vitamins A, C, E, potassium and folic. They are also low in calorie, low in sodium and have almost no carbohydrate. Number five, they can sometimes help to clear up your bowels if you've been a bit sluggish and can be helpful for congested nostrils or sinuses to clear up a bad head cold. Number six, Findings from a sizable Mediterranean population study of over 22,000 adults suggest that a regular consumption of chili pepper is associated, with, is associated with a lower risk of death, including death from heart disease. Are there any risks? Well, I managed to find a few. Number one, if you're not used to eating peppery food and find yourself served with a meal garnished with hot peppers, it might take a little while for you to recover after eating it, but usually there are no long-term side effects. This is quite different from what happens with the world's most spicy pepper, the Carolina Reaper, with a Scoville score of about 2.1 million, which caused an otherwise healthy man after consuming it to develop a series of severe painful headaches for several weeks until they eventually died down without any long-term side effects. Number two, eating scotch bonnet peppers for some people may worsen pre-existing heartburn or stomach ulcers. 
Number three, a Chinese study in 2019 of over 4,000 adults reported that people who consumed large quantities of chili, usually more than 50 grams per day, may be more likely to experience memory problems than those who didn't. So, what does this tell us, Pepe lovers? Moderation in every way, my friends. Let me know what you think about the health benefits, Scotch bonnet peppers versus the risks down in the description box below. Will you be making any changes in your diet? Please make sure to like this video and share with a friend if you found the content useful. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you know every time we publish a new video once every week. Next time we're going to be looking at Nigeria paternity fraud as we come up to World DNA Day in a couple of weeks time. I think that will bring a lot of interesting views and comments. I hope to hear from you. In the meantime, check out these videos here and I'll see you again soon.